Hello, this is Toll from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can create a actual sky in Blender with an add-on that's already in Blender called Dynamic Sky. Now, I just found this out probably, uh, I think a couple of weeks ago. I actually used to use and still do use uh, Blender Guru's Dynamic Skies. But I found that this is not as accurate or as realistic but it does the job to a certain extent now it's already in blender so you, in order to activate it go to edit preferences and where your menu pops up type in dynamic oh, I've already typed mine in and I've already uh, clicked the checkbox and then once you've done that you're going to scroll over to your the right side of your user interface and it's going to be in the Create tab. Let me scroll around so I can find out exactly where mine is. Let me see. I've got a lot of add-ons. But it should be somewhere close. Here it is. It's, it's right down here. This is the Create tab on the right side of your user interface in Blender. And when you click on Create, it's going to say please select the world dot name dynamic one from the properties world panel. So you go over to this side, click on that panel, and from this uh, section, click on your drop down menu, click on dynamic one. And that's going to activate the sky. And this only works in cycles, it doesn't work in EV at all, just in cycles. And your parameters are right here. It looks pretty good I'd have to say you'd have to crank up the colors in order to see the clouds let me kind of drag this around a little bit so we can see a better get a better view of the sky okay in order for you to see the clouds a lot better what I do is I click on the sky color and I make it a little bit darker the way it actually stands out more from the clouds because initially the clouds and the sky are kind of too close in color. It's kind of faded, but when you crank up the sky color, the clouds stand out a lot more. You can also affect the um, color of the horizon. I tend to turn mine to a bluish color that looks more a little bit more realistic. And it's it's pretty pretty precise. I mean, for the fact that it comes in Blender. I mean, with the uh, Blender Guru's dynamic skies, they actually use actual sky PBR textures, uh, but with Blender, it's generated cloud and, and sky, so it's not as realistic, but it, it does the job. And you can change the color, the opacity of the clouds, the cloud density. We can crank the density up a little bit to see how it looks. And as I said, it, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. And in order to affect or change how the sun affects uh, whatever models you have on the ground. I'll show you how that works. Let me create a plane. And scale that up. Then click on the, uh, the gizmo to navigate it. Actually pull the plane down a little bit more. And I think, uh, let me turn on my GP renderer. That way it actually renders a lot faster than what it is currently doing. And that's a lot faster. Let me scale up the plane a little bit more. Now you can see that the direction of the sun is from this angle. Let me get rid of this light here. Okay. Now this little gizmo controls how the sun affects the uh, shadows of your model let's pull this down a little bit more get a better better view of what we want to see now you just have to left click and hold down your left mouse button over this sphere and what that's going to do is move the, the sun 
and the direction you pull your mouse in. So I'm pulling it towards my left. So that's the direction the sun is going in. And you can see now it's got a bit of a shadow on this side of the cube. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's pull it a bit more so we can get a longer shadow because the more you pull towards your left, that means the sun is setting and you get longer shadows. As you can see right here, the shadow is much longer. You can affect the color of the sun also, change the color. Right now it's supposed to be white, but it shows here that it's gray. You want to make it yellow. Click on the color wheel, make it a little bit brighter. We have more of a yellowish sun here. So yeah, that's uh, the add-on in Blender. That is the dy Dynamic Sky, which is a really good add-on. It's not perfect, but it does the job. All right, thank you guys for subscribing, and I'll see you on the next one. Appreciate you guys, and have a great night. All right, adios.